All right, going to do a quick video showing and explaining from scripture what God, Jehovah God, thinks about the pagan Islamic idolatry that is going on over in Mecca. Because uh, as much as the Muslims want to deny it, that little Kaaba, that little black game cube over in uh, Mecca that they go around and bow down and kiss is full on idolatry. And not surprisingly, when you consider the fact that Islam is just repackaged Arabian heathen religion, Muhammad just took the pagan Arabian religion and just mixed stuff from the Old Testament, uh, mixed it with stuff from the Old Testament, I'll put it that way. And the final product was Islam. But it says uh, in the scriptures, because, you know, God makes very clear, I mean, even though Islam is not, you know, mentioned by name in scripture, we see verses about what God thinks about the practices going on over in Mecca. So let's get right into it. All right, sorry about that bit of uh, interruption there, but let's get right into the Word of God. So this is what God thinks about Islam's pagan Mecca idolatry as they kiss that black stone over there. Okay, Hosea 13 and verse 2. It says, And now they send more and more, and have made them molten images of their silver and idols according to their own understanding. All of it the work of the craftsmen they say of them let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves you know obviously it's not talking about that black game cube but we see the similarities kissing can be connected with idolatry they're kissing the idols no different than what goes on over in mecca and we see that god's not really too fond of that first kings 1918 yet i have left me seven thousand men in israel all the knees that which have not bowed unto baal and every mouth which hath not kissed him Again, we're seeing kissing being connected with, you know, the worship of idol idols and false gods and, you know, false rulers in this case, you know. So again, not looking too good for this practice of kissing that black stone, that black game cube over in Mecca that the Muslims like doing, the little uh, Ishmaelite idolaters that they are. Sorry, my cat is just rummaging around. I'm not sure if you can hear him. But also uh, Leviticus 26 verse 1, it says, You shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither rear up a standing image, neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Hmm, I think Mecca is a violation of that, that, that Kaaba thing over in Mecca. Also, I, I argue that wall over in Jerusalem that the Talmud of Jews bowed down before, that uh, wailing wall that they bow down with their idolatrous, you know, blasphemous, false religion of Judaism is a violation of that too. Because you're setting up a standing image. Both Islam and Judaism are just pure idolatry as much as they wanted to deny it. Okay, here's another key scripture about what God thinks about the pagan uh, Islamic idolatry at Mecca. Isaiah 44, verse 19 to 20. And none considereth in his heart, neither is, there, neither is there knowledge, nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Uh, yea, also I have baked, uh, sorry, baked bread upon the coals thereof. I have roasted flesh and eaten it. Uh, and I, sorry, and shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? Shall I fall down to the stalk of a tree? He feedeth on ashes. A deceived heart hath turned him aside. Uh, that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, is there not a lie in my right hand? Okay, now the context is dealing with idols, and it's a perfect condemnation of Mecca. You know, this vain idolatry, this vain, you know, uh, rotation, essentially, this, this uh, circumvallation they do around Mecca. Because uh, the whole context of Isaiah 44, verse 19 and 20 is dealing with basically the, the foolishness and stupidity of idolatry. And this is a perfect summary of, you know, praying to this Arabian moon idol that has no knowledge, no, no understanding to say. It, it's a bunch of garbage they do over Mecca, I'll put it that way. That's what idolatry is. And they are, and then funny too, because Isaiah is also mocking this thing too. He's mocking the, their, their false gods. And similar to how I'm trying to mock Islam right now. Because Islam is a false religion, and how God thinks about this pagan idolatry over in Mecca, you know, it's just that. It's foolishness. It's folly. So anyway, we'll have to point that out. Kind of on the spot, not really, you know, a huge drawn-out video, but just wanted to get that out there to showing that Islam, like Judaism, like Roman Catholicism, is of the devil, and devil worship is connected with idolatry. I've shown that in some other videos. But anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.